Hello everybody, uh, today I have a care club um, for this beautiful orchid uh, with uh, um, collaboration with uh, Ninja Orchid. Um, this time it's only uh, Ninja uh, Orchids and uh, myself, my channel are participating in this uh, care collab. Um, so please go and check um, Nina's um, video once it's uploaded. I'll uh, put her link down below in the description so you can find her easy. I'm sure everybody already knows her. But um, this time um, we have an update uh, for this care club. Uh, I've already made lots of videos regarding this uh, orchid. This one is Dendrobium polysema times by Aberrance. Very beautiful orchid at the moment in bloom. Uh, two of the spikes are almost going, but this is a prolific um, dendrobium, Latoria dendrobium, with beautiful, lovely little blooms. Um, that are, um, you know, that's very, very um, easy to grow and uh, very rewarding because these uh, blooms are very long lasting and um, they are a pleasure to have. Uh, so, um, this orchid that I have is um, um, Polysema times Avarance, which means Polysema is the uh, mother uh, plant and aberrance is the um, pollen parent uh, of this orchid. So aberrance is a very small, um, um, chubbier, uh, suitable, whereas uh, uh, Polysema has a longer, uh, elongated um, suitable, which mine has uh, inherited mostly from the mother plant as you can see very elongated um, so um, but they, they they're very similar uh, in terms of blooming uh, similar um, blooms and they both uh, are small uh, flowering Lateria uh, dendro Lateria dendrobium uh, from New Guinea um, parents and um, um, I mean uh, the difference between my orchid and Nina's orchid is that Nina's orchid is Aberrance times Polysema so uh, he, her um, um, pollen parents um, and uh, you know mother plant seed plant uh, seed, seed parent is different um, my cross is different from uh, Nina's, but um, they are still same cross. Uh, so um, if you notice that uh, hers is more chubbier, it's because of uh, that reason. Because the the, the pollen parent and the um, seed parent are different. My cross and Nina's cross. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk uh, a little bit about uh, the care uh, requires. Uh, this orchid um, requires, um, I can say, very bright, um, indirect sunshine, but uh, because um, I live in UK and then we don't have that much of a sunshine <laughs> or a strong sunshine, I can say. Um, uh, they're okay to stay on this uh, west side, uh, west facing um, window seal. So I keep it in my uh, west, um, sorry, south south facing window seal. I keep it in my uh, south facing window seal, and um, it's okay uh, all year round. Uh, is you know, I really like it, and um, the, the orchid likes the the position. As you can see there is a tiny bit of a um, sun damage but uh, it's nothing in compare with you know how 
beautifully is growing and you see these two are, are have been just maturing this year and this one has matured last year so currently it's grown in semi hydroponic setup uh, with leka and uh, pumice mixed um, in the media the only uh, thing that you need to do with um, semi hydro is sometimes uh, you need to you know flush the orchid and uh, there's some kind of some degree of maintenance involved uh, which is true with um, organic media as well so um, it's not too much of a work uh, and as long as the orchid is happy in this media I'm happy to provide that maintenance work uh, so uh, yeah I keep it in west um, south facing window windowsill um, and in semi hydro setup I fertilize less in winter uh, about maybe 100 to 200 and uh, from May onward up until end of September um, I give them 300 to 350 uh, ppm uh, fertilizer once every time I uh, water my plants with rainwater and they, they really like rainwater one thing they like is rainwater and um, the sunshine I think um, because without the sunshine probably wouldn't be blooming nicely like this one so I've checked the previous year I had only four and uh, this year I had uh, uh, six or seven uh, one was already done and these two are going but these are still three four more spike is still strongly um, you know going and this has been in bloom and uh, this orchid has been in bloom since November uh, which is almost um, two and a half months so um, it's a very long lasting um, bloom, blooming and it, you, it always blooms in the uh, previously matured uh, cane so as I said I have uh, longer um, care um, tips and spotlight for this orchid I'll link that down below um, if you like to check um, which is more um, I'm talking about this this beautiful orchid and um, yeah that's it I really don't do anything special it's just uh, I keep it in uh, kitchen windowsill um, which provides probably the necessary um, you know uh, moisture um, which is I don't know maybe 60% um, because it's in the kitchen so um, this orchid really like it and grows very well uh, in there so and very easy to to bloom as well i hope you've liked this uh, care collab and this video and if you did please um give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like that and please go ahead and check nina's um video uh, regarding this orchid because uh, hers is a slightly different than mine so um care tips are um, slightly different but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye